The British arrived at the capital bearing uh, rockets and bearing gunpowder paste. And they were to use both of these tools to help destroy the capital. They wanted to start fires and they used these to start really great bonfires on the interior. They were able to inflict a great deal of damage in, for instance, the Senate chamber, which was on the second floor of the North Wing, and in the Supreme Court chamber, which was in the room below, where it still is located. In the Senate chamber, the ceiling was wood. So that uh, provided a great deal of combustible material, even though the rest of the room was considered to be fireproof. The, uh, the, the ceiling burnt so fiercely that, for instance, uh, Latrobe tells us that the columns, the, uh, the marble columns were reduced to lime. And everything sort of fell down and the columns were, they weren't just uh, uh, like the, the ones uh, today where sometimes you can use columns non-structurally. Everything in the capital was structural. So when the columns fell, of course, everything fell along with it, it toppled. Uh, and made, a, as, as Latrobe said, a most magnificent ruin. And the room below, in the Supreme Court, uh, there was not a wooden ceiling. That was a stone and brick ceiling covered in plaster. Uh, they mounted uh, sort of in the middle, sort of a, a pyramid of furniture and slathered the furniture with the gunpowder paste and threw a torch in, uh, and the room sort of exploded. Uh, heavily damaged, but the vault did not fall. Really miraculous that it was so well built that it did not fall. However, in the rebuilding, which occurred beginning later in 1815, it was determined that even though it stood, it was probably prudent to take the vault down and to rebuild it. So the Supreme Court that we see today uh, is very similar to the one that the British saw when they came to destroy the building. Uh, not exactly the same, but close enough that it's, it's practically the same room. It was rebuilt pretty much the same way. The room above, the Senate chamber, was not rebuilt the same way. Uh, it was built on the same plan, which was a semicircle covered with a half dome, but it was enlarged to 75 feet in diameter. The original had been 60 feet in diameter, so it was enlarged.